Hello, I'm Amy Groshong Walls, the president of Thimbleberry Financial and a certified financial planning practitioner. I hope you're doing well this week. So this week I want to talk about stress. And the reason I want to talk about stress is it's currently spring break. I've got a four-year-old who you may hear in the background running around the house while my husband and I try to work. I know many of you are in the same boat. Stress alone is not a financial topic, but clearly money can be stressful. Now, that's true for many of you, and many of you have been dealing with that much longer than we have since our little guy gets to physically go away during the day most of the time. That said, our four-year-old is really good at asking us to do things for him, as he should be. Our job, or at least the way my husband and I look at it, is to help make him a good grown-up. And in doing that, we try to help him understand what it is that he controls and what he has influence over and what he doesn't have control or influence over. Now, he doesn't always get it, but it's how we try to frame it for him. I think financial stress also fits into those buckets. There are things that we control when it comes to money and stress around money. There are things that we don't have control over, but we have influence over. And there are things that we don't control or influence. So for example, I can control to some extent how much money I spend at the coffee shop down the street. I can control how often I go online to order clothes for the kids or art supplies or other things that help us kill some time and have fun as a family. What I don't control, but I can influence, is our spending on things like clothes. With a 13-year-old and a four-year-old, we've got some growth happening in our household. That means new shoes, new clothes. And while I don't control when I need to spend that money, I do influence how much money get spent on those things. Then there are things in our financial lives that we don't control or influence. For many of you, that might be if you were working during COVID. So there's also things we don't control or influence. That might be the amount of time that you actually have to work or if you are able to work over the last many months while COVID has been going on. So often it's easy to think that we can't do anything about a situation and hope that someone else is going to step in and try to pass the responsibility to them. I find that thinking about what we do control and what we influence and what we don't control and influence and really not even trying to think about that once you recognize it falls there and get rid of those thoughts really helps reduce the stress. This is also a topic that frequently comes up in meetings with clients. So I hope this information gives you a little break in your day. If it's new information, I hope it adds some value in looking at what's stressing you in a different way. And if it's not, I hope it was a good reminder. If there's something you'd like me to talk more about in a future video, please go ahead and leave me a message in the comments. And if you'd like to talk about your specific situation, feel free to give us a call at the office or reach us on our website. Thanks and have a great day.